hello everyone. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today uh, during our today's uh, uh, community call, which is uh, going under the number 23. Uh, so it's almost two years we're hosting community calls with uh, our amazing followers, users, and uh, everyone who are keen on getting like real equilibrium and uh, we briefly introduce myself uh, as usual my name is alex i'm the ceo and the founder with the projects i'm mostly responsible for the overall strategy and sometimes for the uh, product development um today i'm joined by my colleague peter i'll let him introduce himself uh, right away uh, thank you alex hi everyone nice to have you here um as usual i'm peter uh tech team manager and um business analyst with Equilibrium team, yeah. So today we have a very special community call. We have a few um, announcements that we want to put out. And uh, one of them is uh, really, really exciting. Uh, others as well, but one is like really, really special. And uh, another thing that uh, we wanted to highlight today is our closed beta, obviously, because like just recently, as you guys know, we have conducted uh, the closed beta competition and uh, it's uh, actually got a lot of traction uh, uh, we have uh, got uh, a lot of firstly participants uh, there were a bunch of applications with literally 10,000 applications like even even a little bit more than 10,000 applications that we have received from uh, our amazing community um, who actually uh, indicated their interest to join our closed beta. Um, and, uh, you know, huge shout out to all the communities who participated. So let me uh, like go through the list, uh, name all of them. Uh, Cryptos, Darwinia, Double Top, obviously Equilibrium's community, Subsocial, Algem, Beamswap, Letras, Cryptos, uh, 17168 uh, community from China. The Dance of Pirates Society, uh, Boo Boo Group, uh, Shark Trade, um, LT, uh, WAG Media, um, Rose Community, Fala Network Community, Astar Degens, Evolt, Arthswap, Starlay, uh, Laoiti La La Community, Russia Community, and its blockchain community from India. Uh, guys, thank you very, very much for joining us. Um, I think I named everyone. And um, we were really, really excited to host you all with us within our closed beta. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, so let me share my screen as usual. We have prepared some slides for you. And uh, I want to just to, to highlight a um, few things um, uh, from, uh, from our agenda for today, just uh, hold on a sec. Um, can you see my screen? Is it all good? Seems like it's okay. Uh, so uh, today is October 27. Uh, we are Equilibrium, one stop shop, one stop uh, DeFi 2.0 platform with high leverage and polka dots. Today's agenda for the call. First of all, we wanted to highlight the closed beta results, uh, give you the breakdown on the activities within closed beta, uh, highlight uh, some uh, details of the competition, who actually um, joined the competition, what were the results, and so on and so forth. Uh, we will um, disclose the roadmap for our production launch, which is coming over really, really, really soon. Um, and here's uh, like the next point is the very exciting community. So we decided to kick off the second phase of the EQ public offering, which will happen in November. So we will touch on that in great, great detail in the course of the presentation, give you more highlights and uh, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Um, we also have uh, uh, done a few integrations within this month, including integration with uh, Web3 alerts, Prog uh, sort of products with um, uh, alerts regarding like specific events in our application. This is a great development done by our partners in Rebina, which is the one of the biggest validators on Polkadot. Um, our team, like specifically myself, uh, we have participated in GTAX global events in Dubai. Um, 
Jinshira, our Canary Network, won the crowd loan on Kusama. So we have uh, another year ahead uh, of amazing developments and uh, actually following our um, sort of development plan, we have uh, quite a few things to deliver in the closest future. Uh, we'll touch on that in the course of the presentation. And um, um, as usual, dev updates, Peter will give you dev updates on everything going on um, in our project. So firstly, uh, let me give you some highlights on uh, the activity, the breakdown of what happened during the beta. Like again, we, we've seen tremendous activity. We didn't even expect that it will be so popular. We have um, reached uh, amazing numbers in terms of trading volume on our decks. Uh, respectively, like the overall cumulative uh, trading volume was uh, exceeding uh, 80 million doors, which is really exciting. Like if we sum up all the pairs on the decks, it was uh, over 80 million doors. Uh, the most popular pairs on the decks was respectively uh, were uh, the Bitcoin pair, Ethereum, um, uh, Dot Sum ecosystem. It's Glimmer, the third place, and the fourth place, Dots. Um, really, really exciting. Um, the user activity uh, across the collateral lending insurance pools, almost like 300 daily active users, uh, uh, which is like really good. Uh, uh, given the current activity in the Polkadot ecosystem, it's uh, really impressive numbers. Uh, respectively, in the collateral pool, we had uh, 40, 484 users uh, who deposited five, $50 million around that. Withdrawn 30 million dollars and uh, like uh, the sort of net deposit, uh, the leftover in the collateral pools pool was 20 million dollars. Um, regarding lending pool, we had uh, 513 users who deposited six million dollars, withdrawn two millions uh, with the leftover of almost like four million dollars. Insurance pool also performed pretty well. Um, 486 users with uh, deposits over 5 million, uh, uh, like withdrawn almost 1.5 uh, mils. Uh, uh, the uh, net was 3.8 mils over there. Um, so, uh, yeah, the numbers actually speak for themselves. Uh, you see that uh, the activity of users during closed beta was. Uh, really impressive um, so you also can see the diagram of um, uh, a daily apr that users can could afford in the insurance pool um, at some point it reached even 60 like almost 17 percent um, apr uh, which is really exciting and uh, my guess that uh, insurance pool will take uh, its kind of top place in terms of like uh, attract attraction for, for users in the platform. Um, so some highlights on the competition. Again, there was a, a impressive number of 23 teams who joined the competition uh, with the cumulative volume generated over $8 million. And uh, total participant that we had uh, in the closed beta was uh, amounted at almost 5,000 users. Um, so in terms of um, <clears throat> teams who like, just to remind you how exactly this competition worked like we had individual qualification for users who actually um, um, were competing between each other and uh, top 50 users by balances at the end of closed beta got uh, rewards in the Q tokens and uh, separately we had the team competition when uh, like specific teams uh, either, either it's it were communities or <clears throat> some you know uh, dot sum uh, projects uh, they were competing for the prize of 1.3 million EQ which is uh, roughly speaking like almost more than two ten thousand dollars um so these teams were competing uh by the cumulative balance of top 10 users within within these teams and also there was a competition within teams when uh, top 10 users within each team were also rewarded we have allocated 200 EQ tokens for each team, and these guys will actually receive their uh, sort of rewards at the end of the close beta. Um, so you can see here that like top two teams, uh, they were like really, really brave, really performing teams of Cryptos and Darwinia. There was a neck to neck race, and we were really impressed with what both teams actually performed the close beta. However, uh, again, based on our considerations um, uh, and uh, 
based on like the objective numbers, eventually Cryptus um, took the first place and they won the prize of 1.3 million EQ tokens. However, we decided to allocate another 650,000 EQ tokens as a prize for Darwinia uh, because actually they, um, they, they, they got this uh, kind of, uh, they, they deserve this, this prize because they also performed re really, really well. Um, so in terms of like he highlights on the activity, um, again, um, the uh, most activity on the platform during closed beta, the users actually used for uh, maximizing their portfolio was um, um, uh, leverage trading. And uh, again, we think that this is definitely the, the winner and uh, expectedly it will be the most uh, kind of demanded functionality of the platform once it goes uh, fully live on uh, Polkadot, now Polkadot's parachain. Um, so during closed beta, we have banned three individual accounts for wash trading on the on the exchange. And um, here I actually wanted to give a shout out to the crypto team specifically. Uh, they pointed out some issues with the market making uh, bots and uh, um, actually there was like a certain uh, short squeeze activity that they discovered on the, on the, on the, on the audio book. And uh, again, that was a closed beta. And uh, the main goal for us was firstly, familiarize everyone with what we have built, um, like introduce our product line, like in the full scale and uh, show off like what we have been building for 2.5 years till now. And uh, it was like really, really, really exciting to have uh, all these uh, folks with us together. But at the same time, uh, one of the goals was obviously like to test this through and uh, to figure out um, like which potential kind of things we uh, we need to fix in the in the platform. So obviously, like that was really, really helpful to get all this uh, uh, tremendous feedback from our users and. Uh, um, eventually, like we have the full backlog packed uh, before we go fully live on the on the on the on the on the parachain, um, which we're gonna obviously fix before we uh, before we uh, roll things out. Um, so maybe the just last thing here uh, in terms of individual ranking, top three teams like were uh, overall like Cryptus, Davinia, and, um, um, and Davinia, like there were like final balances of um, uh, tremendous like uh, fifty one. Thousand user, uh, thousand doors, uh, uh, including the Cryptos team. The Vini team got uh, uh, 47, uh, 47,000 of the final balance of top three. Um, kind of, these were two top three teams. Right. So, um, uh, in terms of um, our roadmap uh, for the launch, uh, so again, will be like the next uh, big big step for our project. Uh, again, based on the activity in the closed beta, we have proven our developments as something which is really relevant to the ecosystem. So, we definitely will bring over quite a bunch of uh, important use cases that people can leverage in our product line and actually. Um, you know, uh, make use of their dot summer assets eventually. Uh, I think that it was like long evaded uh, thing being rolled out in the dot summer ecosystem. Uh, uh, so far, we I guess don't have that much comprehensive platform um, on on parachains and Polkadot specifically. So once we go live uh, again, we introduce quite a bunch of functionality that uh, hopefully will be. Uh, recognized in the ecosystem and people will start using that right away. So in terms of like our launch dates, uh, tentatively it's uh, 21st of November and uh, like at least it will be like November 20th. Like again, for us, we have set 20, the, the 21st of November as a indicative date. Uh, so we will announce uh, like the exact date uh, once we approach uh, the second half of November. Uh, so definitely, like keep uh, uh, an eye on our announcement, our socials. So for us, like in terms of this closed beta launch, like uh, the the first functionality which will be rolled out, uh, it will be um, like um, our um, our DEX, uh, the um, money markets, uh, the native decentralized stablecoin called EQD, uh, which uh, uh, is uh, the uh, kind of the crypto backed stable coin back to dollar um uh, which has uh, certain advantages over like maker dao like models and um, um simultaneously like uh, has the same the same narrative uh, on the um 
Um, actually, like on top of that, we're expecting to launch the curve-like pool for, for stable coins as well, which will be one of the parts of our system. Um, so in terms of like assets, the top priority for us is obviously like dot sum assets, specifically dot, uh, dot wrappers. This is really important for us. Like we, we, we will be putting a lot of focus on getting like dot wrappers onto our platform because we will introduce quite a bunch of very, very handy use cases. So if you hold like your, your kind of dot wrappers and you really don't know what to do with them, equilibrium will give you some solution. So you definitely will make good use of that. You will be able to leverage your dots for good and um, actually like make again make full use of that uh, for using as collateral staking or additional yield and stuff. So this uh, this is something that we definitely would love to introduce to the to the dot summer community. So other assets which will be also available on the um, on the platform uh, like right away uh, is. Uh, um, like our assets, uh, assets that uh, Equilibrium introduces uh, uh, like out of the box. It's the EQ token and again, our uh, native stablecoin called EQD. Also, there will be USDT, uh, uh, specifically Polkadot's native version of USDT from the state mine that will be also available in our liquidity pools. And uh, right now we're working on integration with one of the biggest bridges in the space. We will announce this integration very soon. So we will have uh, USDC and Ethereum available on the platform uh, almost uh, uh, once we launch uh, things into production in November. Um, so the plan for us, like firstly, is to bootstrap uh, liquidity in EQD USDT uh, sort of liquidity pool um, on our sort of curve version. Uh, then there will be like lending pool bootstrap for dots x dots USDT. Um, we'll be also bootstrapping our insurance pool. Um, um, as we have seen in the closed beta, there was a lot of activity around that, and we hope that they will this kind of practice will replicate in the future with the equilibrium once it goes live like with the real assets um at some point we are going going also to bootstrap market making pool to give market maker eqd and dots uh, with x dot liquidity for making markets on our decks and um, uh, then we'll be approaching like bootstrapping events in various external ecosystems specifically like astar moonbeam uh, projects based on these uh, on these ecosystems, uh, like different DeFi plat DeFi sort of platforms on Astar and Moonbeam, who will be um, kind of accepting EQD for trading or some other operations. <clears throat> so um, this kind of uh, series of bootstrap events will be one of the focuses, one of kind of the focus for us after we go live. And uh, probably another thing which is like really exciting for our DEX, uh, which is uh, probably the first uh, audio book based DEX, which will be fully on into production uh, real soon with uh, margin trading. Uh, we will be also launching the, um, the IDO launch pad. And um, through that launch pad, we're gonna um, launch like various assets which will be entering the .sum ecosystem. Uh, of the ecosystems project, uh, but the first asset which will be bootstrapped there will be our EQ token. So it's uh, really exciting. And uh, without further ado, I wanted to uh, announce that uh, in November we're planning to kick off our second phase of the public offering. Uh, just for the context, if you remember, we had the first phase which was hosted on the Republic platform back in the day. It was in July uh, this year, uh, so the like it was uh, basically testing the water in the current markets, and uh, the, that race was pretty successful. We had uh, set the hard cap for um, for that race at um, five hundred thousand uh, dollars, not that much, but uh, we have closed that pretty quickly, and uh, it was like really successful. The round was uh, heavily oversubscribed, and uh, we're still receiving a lot of kind of feedback from the community. Um, uh, a lot of uh, folks are actually asking when we launch this second phase, whether we will be launching that or not. And uh, we feel that we need to fulfill these demands. Um, like, uh, respectively, uh, our decision was based on the questionnaire which we have um, um, sort of spread out uh, across the community who uh, participated in the closed beta. And uh, actually, 
92% of uh, people who participated in that uh, uh, survey, they indicated they, they want to participate in the public offering it, it, if, if it happens like tomorrow. So that was uh, like the demand from our community. And uh, we, you know, decided to meet this demand and kick, kick off like the, the public offering in November. Um, so um, we expect that it will keep, start off on November the 14th, uh, will last for one week. Uh, so we will be raising dots and actually dots will be like the main uh, currency to be raised via our sort of IDO platform, which will be connected with our DEX. Again, the queue will be like the first token we'll be launching there. So you can consider this uh, campaign behind the second phase as the first campaign on our um, IDO sort of launchpad platform on our DEX. Uh, the uh, total raise for us will be 300,000 dots. Uh, the total allocation of EQ token will be 200 million EQ, respectively 1.6% of the overall supply. Um, so we're currently working out the particular mechanics behind this race, uh, but what I can say for, for sure that the wait list uh, for this activity will be uh, of a priority for us. So those who will manage to get on the white list uh, for this uh, event will get priority over the others. So how you can participate, guys? Uh, like, firstly, uh, you can get on the white list, which will be open really soon. We will announce that additionally. Uh, then you will need to pass uh, KYC. Um, that will be the obligatory up, uh, sort of boring um, probably the most boring thing in this process. Uh, everything other is super exciting, uh, but still you need to pass KYC. This is uh, the requirements according to, you know, regulatory framework. Um, then you need to submit dots to, to, to the platform and eventually you get a queue at specific rate. So there will be some differentiators for the wait list participants. Like again, they will have the priority and uh, we will actually like highlight um, all the benefits for whitelist participate real soon once we'll be launching uh, this whitelist. So expect in the beginning of the next week. <clears throat> so please keep, uh, keep, keep an eye on our announcements. Subscribe to our socials. Uh, join our Discord channel. Follow us on Twitter. Um, join our news uh, announcement channels on uh, Telegram. And uh, yeah, we we'll definitely will announce the launch of the um, of the white lists once uh, it will be ready to to go. So it will be expected in the beginning of the next week. <clears throat> yeah. So um, Peter, do you want to cover the integration with Web three alerts? And I guess it's a really really exciting integration because it gives a wide opportunity for the community to keep. Uh, an eye on their positions with our, within our platform. Uh, yeah, probably Peter, you just take it over and uh, say a few words yeah. about that. Oh. Sure, thank you very much, Alex. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, it was one of the major tech achievements for us, I would say. Uh, we managed to actually integrate uh, Rabina Web3 alerts. And uh, uh, for the beta, we integrated the most priority ones, which are related to margin calls because uh, margin calls uh, pretty much is the, well, probably the most important uh, thing in the entire protocol of ours. It's when uh, borrowers liquidate and redistribution happens and you gotta watch out for your position. Um, guys, can you hear me well? Yeah, yeah, it's no? everything all good. No, everything, everything is okay. Yeah, yes, we can hear you, Peter. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, 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 we can hear you. Oh, yeah, yes. so let me continue. Uh, for some reason, I don't see Alex's screen and it tells me the stream was unable to connect. Uh, yeah, so uh, Web3 Alerts, that's a service which allows you to uh, pretty much connect to any parachain, uh, both in Kusama and Polkadot. And, uh, configure some alerts, which you will receive either in Telegram or in Discord or even by email. And for us, this was crucial because we would like to, we actually wanted to notify users about uh, liquidations and margin calls happening on our platform in timely fashion, because, you know, um, well, if you miss it, you can miss the opportunity to actually opt out of the liquidated position uh, 
with a profit. Uh, and this is a crucial component of the bailsman operation or the insurer operation within our uh, system. And uh, that's why for the beta, we introduced uh, these only two alerts uh, regarding uh, the margin calls. But for the live launch, we will be introducing the whole scope of our alerts, which includes uh, you know, transfers, taking out some debt, um, uh, opening up a position on the DEX, or placing an order, or when your order gets filled. So we have lots of different stuff related to our mechanics. Um, so yeah stay tuned and we will definitely do that but uh the funny part actually for the beta is that uh, uh there weren't any margin calls uh, for the duration of the contest because for the two weeks uh we performed all of these activities uh crypto was pretty much staying in one place so no sudden drops uh no continuation of the year-long downtrend and uh, so everybody managed to stay safe and no borrowers actually liquidated and it was uh, kind of awesome because there was like a huge amount of trading volume huge amount of leverage people undertook and uh, everything actually worked smoothly as intended and we didn't even need our second line second line of defense in a form of insurance uh, there um all right uh so alex that's it right I just oh okay can okay continue can, now yeah can you hear me or um for some reason hello, hello. i can't see alex here no actually um okay okay uh can you hear me guys uh um okay um just oh nice okay it's awesome um yeah so i wanted to I, for some reason peter doesn't that doesn't hear me um anyways um so um, um yeah a few words about events like uh, in the past month was uh, really packed with events uh probably just one that i uh, we forgot to mention here we had uh, participated in uh Token 2049 in um, 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 in uh, Singapore, which was a really a huge event with a lot of connections. I personally counted uh, 185 connections that we have made during those days in Singapore. It was like the end of September. Um, uh, after that, uh, like I was traveling to Dubai and actually I was uh, attending the GTEx Global, which is the largest tech event in the Middle East, um, you know, thousands of people, thousands, literally, and uh, like all the uh, global vendors of software and hardware. And uh, they also had a pretty nice, uh, small, though, section in crypto uh, of crypto, like there was a local um, FTX office presenting FTX, like there was a, a booth of uh, uh binance uh, there was a few other booths like quite interesting ones of the local projects and um like for example true um um t t d um uh, kind of community also was uh, they were organizing the uh scene over there which was uh, really really nice uh, with quite a bunch of interesting panels and speech um, so yeah, I actually like the the event took place in October uh, between four, 16th and 20th in uh, Dubai in UAE. Um, um, I had uh, like few impactful meetings with uh, potential partners. Uh, uh, one of them is one of the biggest wallets in the ecosystem. Cannot disclose the name yet, but we uh, a very kind of deep conversation regarding our partnership. And uh, by the way, like besides uh, this uh, Rebina integration, we'll also announce a few more integrations really, really soon. They're super exciting. Um, uh, we also had a few meetings with uh, investors. Uh, um, and obviously, since we're going live, one of the main focus uh, for us will, were um, actually talking to uh, market makers and liquidity providers. So that's, uh, that's something we, we've, been, we've been working on. Yeah. Um, Peter, can do you want to take over um, and tell about Jinchira winning the uh, crowd loan and getting the slots 
on Kusama. Definitely. Yeah, so um, it was uh, an exciting news as well uh, for our ecosystem, small ecosystem of uh, Equilibrium plus Genshiro. So yeah, we allocated uh, 10 million GANs tokens uh, for uh, 2000 KSM cap. We'll be distributing those pro rata. And um, we won, I think it was 56 slot. Um, it was an easy win, and we were actually um, very pleased to know that we uh, raised the cap really quickly, uh, even though uh, back in the time we had some issues and uh, community concerns about Genshira. This tells us that the support is still strong. Uh, we don't put down the Kusama ecosystem in any way. We remember that we have this awesome product there, and actually we're looking to into combining eventually uh, our two products, uh, but the, those are our long lasting plans. And uh, we want to have our stable coin present in both ecosystems and even outside the Polkadot ecosystem. And it looks like it's a good opportunity right now to do so. So definitely stay tuned. We will be announcing our plans about uh, Equilibrium, Genshiro, and their probably future merge or some sort of closer collaboration um, in our future posts, future community calls, etc. And uh, so the next steps for Genshira are pretty obvious. Uh, we need, first of all, to swap our parachain slots. So our current parachain slot is coming to an end, and the new one is starting on the 31st of October. So we will be doing the swap. Uh, then we will migrate the standalone network uh, to the parachain and uh, all of the functionality you currently see in Equilibrium will be also present in Genshira uh, because it kind of lags behind right now. We didn't introduce lenders there. We didn't uh, introduce discounts there yet. I mean, the code base is already finished, but uh, it hasn't been upgraded. And uh, once we migrate to the parachain, yeah, we will shut down the standalone network and uh, pretty much we will have uh, the parachain only. And uh, from there on, um, yeah, it will function like a fully fledged parachain with all of the products uh, we currently have. That means money market, uh, including the insurance pool. Uh, so borrowing, lending, insurance pool. Then we already have a functioning curve protocol in Genshiro. It will be uh, also extended to Equilibrium. Uh, we will interconnect our blockchains with bridges, and you will be able to bridge stuff from Genshira to Equilibrium and vice versa. Uh, we will introduce uh, some of the AMM pools we've been uh, keeping in the back uh, for now, like uh, this yield protocol, which allows us to uh price interest bearing assets etc and also some of the new stuff and uh we even have uh some fancy game uh mechanics like uh binary option stuff which we developed back in the day for genshira but it never went live uh so uh yeah prepare for that we might even start uh some you know betting markets or prediction markets in Kusama, and um, this is very exciting because it's a, a lively use case where you can play and bet against other people, and you do it all on the blockchain and uh, leveraging the Polkadot technology. It could be an awesome product, another awesome product we offer. Yeah. So um, that's it for Genshira, and now let's move on to the dev updates. Yeah, definitely another uh, busy, busy months as usual. Uh, so the most important thing that happened to us during these uh, months, I would say, of course, is the beta. And we managed to launch it and managed to conduct the competition. And we received a lot of feedback, uh, which was really um, in our platform. And once again, shout out to all of the participants. Uh, a lot of you guys did an awesome job uh, of actually trying out this system, playing with it. And once again, Crypto's team, shout out to you in particular. Uh, we had an AMA session with the guys, and it was the best thing uh, I had, uh, well, in a while, because, you know, they have like this small but really, really young community. 
and they just fire you up because they're like, okay, we tried this and we tried that. We tried to hack you. We tried to do this and uh, we reverse engineered your decks. We reverse engineered your market making. We know how fast how fast it uh, replaces orders and uh, what's the timing when it goes off the order book, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so yeah, I had a lot of positive uh, and constructive feedback uh, from you guys. So thank you very much. And um, that on, also relates to other teams. We got like uh, this huge backlog of stuff that people want us to improve. So we're going to be working on that uh, for our life launch. Uh, and uh, pretty much uh, for life, we still need to prepare the curve or we call it Epsilon, our native implementation of the Curve protocol, uh, UI UX, and then some bootstrap campaigns to attract liquidity. Stay tuned. We'll be announcing all of that in our social media. Uh, so an interesting month or an end of the year ahead of us coming up. So um, among that, also a landing page rework. Um, so our designers are on it and uh, working hard to make it even better. Uh, also. We're preparing our bridges for production, and uh, we also are working with a multi-chain multi bridge uh, to support the XCM EVM compatibility. And uh, the so pretty much, if you want to, uh, well, to give you a basic example, bridge Ethereum to Equilibrium, you will be working with a multi-chain bridge which works through Moonbeam. This is the most trustless setup uh, in the ecosystem as of now. Uh, because, uh, you know, there's a snow fork bridge which uh, uh, promises to offer even more trustless solution, but unfortunately, they're lagging behind their commitments and we still haven't seen uh, any working prototype from them. They expect to roll it out in Q1 2023, so we're really looking into that, but right now we want to start, don't push back uh, any further. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be starting with multi-chain, and the reason we chose multi-chain is because we did our uh, homework. We went uh, to different communities, to Moonbeam, to uh, venture funds, to our investors and asked them which bridge do you trust the most given this year was kind of, uh, you know, bad for bridges with all the multiple hacks we have been aware of. And uh, most of the responses were multi-chain. So we decided to stick with multi-chain and uh, that's where... Uh, where we are going live yeah another cool stuff is actually uh, um, some of our engineers are uh, working on zero knowledge proofs proof of concept and uh, it is a really cool thing um, a lot of mass a lot of uh, you know hard code coding and um, analytical work and uh, pretty much uh, zero knowledge proofs would allow us to you know, make some uh, heavy computations of chain and then prove that the result of these computations is valid on chain. And this is extremely important because uh, we want to speed up our DEX and pretty much uh, we will be the first protocol who actually provides you with the working proof of concept. We will be releasing it publicly. And uh, first of all, we will uh, showcase it on our Balesman uh, redistribution mechanics and then we'll start working on uh, our um, DAX concept where pretty much we'll keep order book off chain. So market makers will enjoy uh, the fastest and the most optimized matching engine there is. And uh, we will send the periodic updates and the settlement and the actual crypto and funds movement will happen on chain. Uh, another exciting news is actually we're working on a trustless stake dot solution. And this is um, one of the things that uh, we're really proud of um, too, because we have studied all of the solutions currently present in the ecosystem, which include uh, Akala's uh, liquid dot, um, Parallels, staked dot, uh, then what else? Lidus, uh, Lidus, ST dot. Uh, and uh, Bifrost's dot wrappers. And we checked the code base of every one of them and uh, looks like uh, they have um, no trustless solution at all because, you know, there's still some difficulties with uh, relay, chain communica relay chain communicating with parachains and getting information from the relay, 
relay chain trustlessly into parachain. Uh, so we actually try to do it everything through XCM, and it's going to be the first trustless solution there is. And uh, also we introduced some cool mechanics, uh, which I should probably name as a uh, uh, fractional reserve system. So we will always keep some liquidity aside so users can unstake instantly without the need to wait for 28 days. And um, well, this is a crucial part of uh, our us going live because you know uh, uh, well at least in my perspective as an end user if i would uh, have an option to stake dot and earn this passive income and then use wrappers in equilibrium i'd rather do that than just bring dots into equilibrium but we will definitely support not only our uh, wrappers but all of the wrappers i just mentioned and the dot token itself also, yeah, we uh, finalized our governance and democracy setup on the testnet. Uh, we will be deploying it live next sprint. Uh, that means next two weeks uh, to Ginshira. And when we go live with Equilibrium, we will deploy it as well. Uh, yeah, as I told you on a previous slide, we are preparing the Ginshira uh, parachain swap, not the parachain migration. And migration uh, to the parachain we will come afterwards. And um, also, we are doing some R&D on the new market maker pool mechanics uh, because um, if you remember or um, if you are our you know, long-time supporter in Genshiro, when we launched market maker pools, uh, we would uh, actually uh, bootstrap all of the needed assets and the equilibrium, we want to optimize that behavior. So we want to have like this unified market maker pool where users will put stable coins and market makers will use those stable coins are as margin and they will be borrowing directly from the lending pool when they need some asset to on the ask side and uh, they will be minting EQD stable coins when they need some liquidity on the bid side or if users provide them with this EQD liquidity they will use it right away and uh, the exciting stuff here is that we're in talks with multiple market makers right now. I won't uh, tell you the names, not to spoil it, but these are like really, really huge players. And uh, we already have one which is working with us um, in Genshira. Those are also well-known venture firm called PNYX Ventures. Uh, and most likely we will start um, with a similar setup in Genshira, uh, that means cash-only trading because uh, the, the market maker bot is not ready to support this margin trading. But once um, they do their homework and uh, their uh, part of coding and they will be able to trade on margin, we will launch this uh, margin margined market maker pools and make the mechanics much, much more efficient. And of course, uh, this is also a crucial part of the platform because we want to uh, have liquid markets and liquid uh, order book on our decks so uh, people have means to trade effectively and insurers have means to liquidate positions effectively against that liquidity. So yeah, this is in broad strokes what we have been up to and what are our next plans uh, according to the development roadmap. So definitely stay tuned, drop a line in uh, Discord and Telegram. We're also very super responsive there all the time. And if you have any questions, you can even contact me directly. Yeah, so that's it. Nice. Um, thanks, Peter. It was uh, really, really exciting to, um, to learn more about our developments, actually. <laughs> OK, cool. Um, so. Um, I, I, uh, b before we dive into questions, um, the thing we have, um, we have some guys here we wanted to invite on the screen. Um, firstly, let me close these. Um, just hold on a sec. Let me find the guys here on the list. Um, user in... Okay. Uh, so inviting the 
guy called Dennis. Um, and square squared will. Hi, Dennis. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good, what about you? <laughs> Doing very, very well. Cool. Greetings from you're, Istanbul. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you are the man. Uh, one of the man. Uh, just a sec, I, I'm trying to find your colleague uh, with the I, next, uh, square, square, squared wheels. Is, it, is he here uh, somewhere? Yeah, he was here and uh, in chat he was Dionysus. Um, I cannot find him. Uh, maybe any other nickname I want to uh, need to uh, try? Give me a sec. He was here. Yeah, it's uh, he's here in the, in the chat. It's uh, so, D I O N Y S I O C. Uh, okay, I I see, I see. Okay, okay. Okay, got it, got it. Nice. Okay, so um, winners, winners take it all, right? Yeah. Nice. Uh, okay. So, um, actually, like today, we have very special guests. Before we, again, before we enter the great sort of Q and A session, um, I I'm inviting some folks uh, from the uh, cryptos team uh, the guys who actually got uh, all the uh, all the prizes and all the uh, all the rewards in the team competition um guys do you want to introduce yourself uh, firstly and uh, probably tell us uh, um, a few words about yourselves and uh, then we talk about your experience sure uh, my name is dennis and my colleague is dionysus uh, we are in a team of cryptos uh, so in our community, we have uh, different sections. Uh, I'm from DeFi section, so I'm working on DeFi protocols for uh, several years. And also we have a trading community and uh, uh, testnet community in other uh, communities in our team. So, and uh, with your protocol, we worked with two teams, traders and DeFi team. So that's who we yeah. are. <laughs> Amazing. Dionysus, do you want to say a few words about yourself? Of course. Uh, but first of all, I would like to thank you, uh, the Equilibrium team, and uh, for the opportunity you gave uh, our team to participate in such a great uh, activity. We really enjoyed ourselves, and uh, we could really break everything we wanted to break. So <laughs> we did exactly what you asked for. And <laughs> I really hope uh, that uh, uh, our expertise will help you to develop a great product. Um, so, as my colleague mentioned, uh, has already mentioned, um, this is how, this is what we do, actually. No, nothing mo less, nothing more. So, we are just simple people. Amazing. Uh, great, great to have you guys with us. And, uh, yeah, again, thanks very much for your uh, kind of uh, participation, first of all, and uh, obviously, like, your opinionated approach when, when you were trying to uh, break the system and uh, to test things through. That was really, really helpful. Um, and uh, we really appreciated your participation and the way how you manage things and how you eventually uh, got there. That's, uh, that's really impressive. Um, so maybe like, uh, let, let me ask you a few, the, the, round, the round a few questions. Like firstly, um, what, what was uh, your like, overall impression out of the product plan that we have put out? Uh, the impression was pretty good. Uh, so at uh, first day, it was pretty complicated to understand how can we win this competition because we started not from the first day. We started like maybe for on the fourth day, on the fifth day, because we had some things to do and we are already uh, late. Um, uh, and uh, first two days, we just studied uh, about your protocol. How do the things work? And it's, yeah, not all the things are simple, but um, your protocol gives a lot of opportunities in one in one window. That's great because uh, normally in uh, other DeFi protocols you have to uh, work with uh, five um, or six uh, protocols to uh, make a good strategy. In uh, in your way, uh, there is one window protocol where you can borrow, you can 
uh, lend your uh, lend your money, also insurance pool and trading, and also leverage trading, and it's very nice. You're doing a good things, and uh, uh, I hope you uh, come uh, will become a part of the good history about the crypto <laughs> and about Polkadot as well. <laughs> about the Polkadot uh, as well. <laughs> Right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thanks very much. It's uh, really kind of you. Really, really nice words. What What you didn't like about uh, your experience? Like, what was the wor worst part of that? Um. Is it? Yeah. Is it Alex again, or is it me? I can see the same weird message on. His... I think. I think we we can. P P Peter doesn't he P P P Peter doesn't hear. Streaming. Yes. Uh, I can then... hear Peter and and you also. <laughs> Okay, okay. Good. okay, got it. I, I think, I think, yeah, I think Peter is losing me some time after time. But anyways, like my, my question was like, what was, uh, what was uh, the worst um, kind of thing about uh, our current product setup? Like what's, uh, uh, what you didn't like? Like, well, maybe you highlight thing, these things as well. Uh, as for me, uh, your white paper, because there is <laughs> not uh, a lot of uh, mathematics on it. There is a part of code and no uh, mathematics. And uh, we had to test everything by ourselves without any formula. So we made our own formula to win. Uh, uh, we, we, made it, we made it consciously so that you cannot reverse engineering the platform. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, there was uh, not enough information about the insurance, how do insurance work and uh, how do um, the rewards from insurance uh, separate on the, on the pool, you know, and other things about the mathematics. So uh, the, they just uh, say to you that you earn some money from liquidation. That's it. How many money? Uh, how many money is there in insurance pool? How do this money uh, separate on the users? Uh, no idea. Uh, j j j just uh, just a wish. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, th I think it's actually a good point. Like, uh, definitely, we cannot be for perfect in the from from the UI and UX perspective from the day one. And based on the feedback that we got from users and uh, from the community, from from the teams, uh, basically, we we get, we have put together the backlog of things that we need to improve. And one of them is actually improving the indicators and the interfaces, so you can like first of all predict like what exactly you get from using particular functionality. And uh, you also can um, uh, like understand how much you use by using these things or that thing. So I guess that's uh, that's pretty crucial for every kind of DeFi protocol. In our case, again, we have a little bit more sophisticated mechanics when uh, some of parameters are can actually recalculate um, almost on the flight, and it very much depends on how much assets you put into the system, like what's the volatility of these assets and stuff, like what's your uh, portfolio like you you hold in the system like what's different other factors right and based on that you can figure out like the interest that you eventually pay or the interest you eventually earn however like we can uh, um, uh, let's say calculate some numbers based on the current state of things like if you have like some specific portfolio right away we can calculate what the, the interest let's say and right now you, you cannot see that in the interface which might be not that great and we definitely like at least like put out some simple parameters that will simplify using the product. So please like give more idea of what exactly you get from, from that. Yeah, this is, this is a great point. Uh, right. So what's um, like, how, how guys you, are you familiar with the, the dot sum ecosystem overall? Like, have you been using any other products so far? Uh, for me, uh, I used dot for a little bit, not so much. Uh, I was using the, um this um how do you call it a parachain auction or something like that yeah uh, so, uh yep. to then uh to stake your money for the uh parachain auction uh that's it uh normally i'm using uh, ethereum avalanche uh, and more defy protocols where a lot of right. uh, things to farm a lot of dexes and a lot of lending pro uh, pools or something Right. So okay. Okay. It, 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 uh, it makes change. sense. I used Echo a couple of times. Which one, Echo? Yeah, a couple of times. Echo. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Cool. Um, okay. Okay. So, what's uh, uh, what, what's what, what would be your kind of um, um, probably 
wishes to the dot summer community what would be your expectations uh, from from the user experience and um, uh, let's say from the ecosystem overall what would you would say to the projects what they need to achieve building on both mm, it's my opinion we need to, to make it more user friendly yeah uh, so it's it's not user friendly at all i mean the crypto Crypto is not user friendly, and uh, Polkadot is <laughs> less user friendly than the other crypto. So that's right. the main the main goal that uh, should uh, that community achieve, is for my opinion. Um, if uh, it will be user friendly, a lot of uh, community will come, the liquidity will grow, and everything uh, everyone will be uh, happy and uh, and happy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I totally agree here. I wanted to, you know play with uh, leverage <laughs> during the beta and I was like okay how do I leverage uh, wh where they, do I find it and I couldn't figure it out <laughs> uh, mm. hopefully there were guys who could help and uh, this is how it went there okay. was there was no button just to earn money Okay. <laughs> do, do, right right do, do you have uh, like before we wrap up like do you have any um good advice to 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 us as the equilibrium team uh, uh like what's uh would you probably recommend uh, us to get focus on in the, in the close future before we go live i think you should uh, also focus uh, on your design uh on the protocol because it's not very beautiful uh it's, it's like um not very modern if you see like a coinbase uh, for example or Cracking uh, sex, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty comfort to use, and it's user friendly, yeah. And uh, your protocol uh, a bit uh, late with the design, so uh, and it's it's a good thing if you're coming to the uh, protocol and it's look beautiful and look expensive, you would like to use it. Uh, for example, right. when you also you are coming to Uniswap, uh, it's just beautiful and you want to touch the things. You know, uh, it's a good thing, uh, as I think. Mm, and also work uh, mm, with uh, with numbers. There are lo not a lot of uh, you can cannot count everything on your protocol. Uh, right. as, for, as for me, I'm working with DeFi more than two years, and I'm always counting, 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 counting. And uh, when I can't count, I just go out. So right. uh, I think uh, to place more numbers than you have it now on your uh, website on your part so, sounds good yeah that, that's that's really helpful man i think uh that's definitely things that we will be get, we'll be focusing in the next uh, few weeks before we uh kick things off on the berry chain and uh definitely like there there's quite a few uh, amendments that will be done to the interface to numbers to like some parameters that you can calculate and so on and so forth yeah by far you well, guys thanks. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah th thanks thanks very much for uh yeah thanks very much for joining us uh today and uh we're super excited about your uh, performance during the closed beta it was uh, really impressive again and uh yeah enjoy enjoy your rewards and uh hopefully we'll see you uh, in uh, um, in uh, in the number of uh, our followers and users in the future. You can count on us. <laughs> Amazing. <Perfect. Cool. laughs> thanks. Thanks for joining. Uh, okay. Thank you. I wish you to achieve all your goals and uh, become a very rich people with good uh, <laughs> things in, uh, in the portfolio. Uh, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, we'll work on it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, cool. So um, uh, let's um, uh, let's probably take a few questions. We don't have that much time. We're actually running out of time already. Uh, so yeah, and um, uh, yeah, just 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 a sec. Uh, let me let me look at the. Um, okay. So here's the Q and A session. Uh, Q and A Q and A section, basically, and a few questions here. Um, so when EQ is going to be listed on an exchange? Amazing question. Yes, we are currently finalizing terms with one of the biggest, biggest Asian crypto exchanges, like right now. Cannot disclose the name, unfortunately. We'll announce that accordingly, but we are about to get there. 
so the sequence for us would be uh, working hard on the backlog, launching the second phase of uh, the public sort of distribution events in November, going live on the PR chain, and at some point listing around that time. Keep, keep, keep your eyes on our announcements. We'll keep you guys posted regarding that by far. Like it's, uh, it's something that we are working on right now. And it's, it's coming over really, really soon. So we have very strong theory position here. Um, okay, so when phase two, and what about phase one terms of distribution? Uh, there were a few options like three months, six months, three months have already passed when EQ will be distributed and when EQ will be distributed up to phase two. You're going to participate as well. Firstly, thank you very much for your... Um, Thank you, thank you very much for your support. That's really, really helpful. Thanks for following us. Um, so about the phase one, um, we are like, sorry about the delay. Uh, that was uh, really not on us. We are finalizing things with Republic. It was uh, a little bit slower than we expected. Um, so it's gonna be distributed like really soon. But the thing is that like the terms of um, um, unlocking will start off once we launch the parachain. chain. So that's like in the full scale, so to say. So um, expect in November. In November, you get your first tokens and, and uh, there will be like uh, the, um, the, the lockup period kicking off according to the options we have chosen during the first phase. Like in the, the second phase, I mentioned that in presentation, expectedly will kick off on november 14 it will be hosted on our ideo platform the launch pad that we'll be rolling out which will be connected with our decks and it will be the first uh, campaign will be la launched there uh, which will kick off um again expectedly in november on november the 14th um the question dustin lee from crypt hustler 101 asking what is your outlook on using wasm with equilibrium peter do you want to to highlight your thoughts on using wasm well actually i don't get this question every blockchain code is uh, compiled into wasm by default so maybe the question about smart contracts uh well i'll answer the question about the smart contracts uh we don't have currently plans on um, utilizing ink, but uh, there's definitely some exciting uh, development and stuff going on in the ecosystem around it. And uh, uh, there are some new protocols emerging, so we will maybe have some collaboration with them. But uh, as usually, until we strike the deal, I would not love to disclose any names so just uh follow us on our social media and we will tell you everything when the time comes yeah yeah we'll make the announcement of the announcement and the announcement of the announcement as usual and uh, uh the last question the last the last question for now guys will equilibrium have a trainee program for those who want to learn how to work with the technology that equilibrium Chair works with it will be a really cool thing to see uh, John Rodel asking a Perichin boy. So yeah, Actually, thanks very much. Thank you for that, Alex, uh, because uh, we have done a tremendous job of preparing uh, like a new doc version of our documents. Uh, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish some of the articles there yet. And once I do that, uh, you will get to see uh, like a V2 of our docs, which will be amendment to the current docs equilibrium io we have uh, up for the community and um it will be more user friendly with lots of screenshots uh with links to the videos on how to use our platform and uh, yeah we tried to make it as simple as possible and um so hopefully you'll enjoy it yeah nice so uh just 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 for the record peter is the person who whom you need to approach and chase once you feel that you need documents so Peter is, yeah, is in yeah. touch with that. Unfortunately, um, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I think uh, it's the time to wrap up. Uh, again, thank you guys for joining us today. Um, as uh, usually, we are super excited to host you during our community call. Today was the 23rd. And the next one will be the 24th. So like Jubilee community call 
uh, two years until then we'll be making it so yeah stay tuned and uh, again uh, the next step for us uh, which will affecting the community will be like kicking off the white, white list for the second phase of our race uh, uh, in terms of our um, sort of um, public distribution of, of EQ uh, so please stay tuned and uh, once you get the opportunity don't forget to join the white list Thanks again. Uh, thanks very much and uh, take it easy. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye.